the slides that you showed us uh, are also, um, especially on the fresh cadavers, uh, yes. the, mm, there are the, the slides that mm, are the photos from uh, di dissections, and, yes. um, which was really mm, important for me to see the fresh cadavers, because as uh, you said before, uh, during the course, uh, me as a physio and uh, probably most of us uh, here, the participants, we were taught the old school anatomy. So we were taught where's the, uh, where, where the muscle attaches. So uh, we, we knew the details, but we actually uh, were, mm, they omit the whole knowledge about the fascia tissue, the, the, the connective, connective tissue. tissue, if we can call it. And because of that, uh, as, as I noticed today during the first day of, uh, of the course, uh, there was a big lack of knowledge and understanding what's going on uh, when it comes to the groin uh, problems and injuries. Yes, uh, uh, it's much easier to, uh, to represent the tissue as a separate entity. So we have one muscle, then we have a second muscle, then we have a third muscle. But in, uh, in real life, if you look at uh, how it looks in real life, then you will see that there is a lot of connection. So I, I like uh, uh, sort of a joke to say that the, the, the groin area is, uh, is uh, a lot of highways that are uh, uh, crossing uh, uh, among each other at a certain point. And that point is the pubic uh, symphysis area. So we have a, a number of uh, uh, tissues that uh, pull in each specific direction. So let's say abdominal muscles, some of them pull uh, the, the tissue up and to the side. Uh, adductor muscles uh, from the hip pull down and to the side. So we have a different uh, uh, tension, lines of tension, which all intersect in one particular area. And that is usually the area where we have uh, uh, pain in the athletes. Mm, coming back to what you said. Mm. And uh, I, uh, pardon me, uh, I want to emphasize that uh, there is a, a very, very nice uh, and clear connection among those tissues. So if we have a, a problem in the tissue that is below the, uh, let's say, below the pelvis. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that above the pelvis we do not have a, a problem. So, and that is the complexity of the area. Because if we focus on the area of pain, uh, we are, uh, in many, many cases, uh, we are lost. Many, many very wise physiotherapists uh, always say that uh, treating the pain is not treating uh, the main cause so, well, uh, sometimes it, it is if it's an acute trauma and you see really the, the, the clear uh, tissue damage at the area. Uh, that's why it's very important to, to combine the, uh, uh, the, the presentation or let's say the history of the patient, uh, the, the very, very thorough clinical exam. And of course, uh, in many cases, you also need uh, technology in terms of imaging to yeah. see uh, what source of tissue and what kind of tissue is damaged if it's damaged at all. Um, coming back to uh, the actually the um, imagining, as you said, uh, what uh, hit me uh, during the during the course, you said that uh, you diagnose uh, the players or the patients in a really particular way. So you are actually not allowing them to speak. Uh, you first diagnose them, so they cannot comment. Because uh, as as I know from my experience, also. A player who wants to play won't tell you the truth. So the only way to get to the truth is like omit his comments on his own uh, injury to do the diagnosis without his comment. And also you said something very important about the imagining that uh, it is also sometimes can be very misleading. So having only the ultrasound uh, or uh, imagining or the MRI also gives us wrong, um, can I say, uh, image of uh, the true problem, and then it can lead to uh, wrong diagnosis. Well, uh, I speak from my experience. Uh, 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 it's not rare to see the player uh, who wants to play, uh, who is experiencing pain during training and during a competition, but is hiding that from the uh, medical personnel because he wants to have a bonus or something like that or uh, he wants to uh, enter into the national team and he can do that only if he's playing so uh, 
but on the other side, it's very, very important to have a trust between the players and the, and the, and the uh, coaches staff. and medical staff. And for that, uh, you need time. Uh, for example, if there is a new player in the club or there is a new clinician in the, in the, in the club, there, 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 there needs some time to, to pass uh, until this trust is built. Uh, on the other side, uh, uh, you have to work immediately when you go to the club. So there, you don't have uh, too much time to adapt. Uh, so uh, in, that, in that regard, I think that it is important if you can develop the skills that will allow you to listen to the tissues, to see what the body is telling you, not uh, verbally, but through lines of tension, through uh, muscle contraction and through uh, movement behavior, uh, the body can tell you many things. And if you can read those signs, then sometimes a patient can be a silent uh, and you don't have to hear anything from him and you still see uh, that uh, some things are wrong. Mm -hmm. And in that case, then you said to the, if you see that, you said to the player or the patient that uh, you see some problems, uh, that you will not panic about that, but uh, that you would like to hear a little bit more how long is this problem here and uh, that we will try to solve it in, a, in the best interest of the club and the player. Mm -hmm. So you have to build that trust. Yeah, uh, and for the oh, imaging, uh, well, uh, I think the imaging is very helpful. Uh, the technology is better and better, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, we do have the situation where the imaging on one side and the clinical presentation and the history on the other side are not matching. Then uh, we we can have a, a, a disagreement among professions. That's one uh, thing, uh, and disagreement is not a bad thing. Uh, it, it's a good thing because it challenges everyone but also we can have a misleading opinions, which can lead to a wrong diagnosis. And if we have a wrong diagnosis, the, the, the prognosis and the treatment will be wrong. Mm 